welcome back to my kitchen. I'm going to be doing some meal prepping and cooking and it's going to be like a cook once and eat all week. So um, come along with me and you can see what meals I'm going to put together. We're starting school this next week. So that's going to be very helpful for me as a mom, a wife, a teacher. So Come along and see what meals I'm gonna make. Okay, really quick, my camera boy is down at his grandma's right now, so he's probably gonna come in in a little bit and help me film, so I'm gonna be uh, holding the camera right now. Anyhow, let's see, I'm gonna flip you around and show you a few of the items that we're gonna get started on. Okay, I've got this roast. I have so many roasts that need to get used up and I'm going to cook up this ground beef with peppers, maybe a little bit of a jalapeno, onion, and that's gonna go for big batch spaghetti. That's gonna be for two dinners. So we've got two, three, and I'm gonna show you the rest of the meals. Okay, um, the, let me think. The list I'm gonna do is spaghetti, but I'm making so much of it, that's gonna be for two meals. And I'm gonna do roast. I'm gonna prep fish, a pan of enchiladas, and I'm gonna do, it's called, I'm probably not saying it right, polo and sacrima. It's a Spanish uh, Mexican dish, and that's gonna go for two mils. So seven mils, and I'm gonna prep them and cook them today. And of course, I might need to add in a, a few sides throughout the week, but um, yeah. So I'll just know the whole next week with school and uh, yeah, kind of getting broke into our new routine that I do not have to worry about dinner. I gotta go out to my freezer and get more ground beef for the enchiladas. And the way I'm gonna do it, I can actually cook all this ground beef together with the, oh, excuse me, the jalapenos, the bell pepper, and the onion, and then I'll just split off what I need for the spaghetti and what I need for the enchiladas and get this roast in the Instapot and that'll be, I can might, I don't know, I think I might just prep that, put it in the fridge and I could turn it on in the morning, so. I'm slicing up this purple onion here and I know this isn't what you're used to seeing on my channel. I'm not uh, making my kitchen uh, look all pretty like normal. And I'm not showing you a, a pretty item from a thrift store. Um, but food is, it makes up a huge part of our lives. And uh, yeah, this is actually going to help my home run smoother next week because I'm meal prepping. go. See how finely that chops that up? The bell pepper and there's the purple onion. Oh, I'm also going to add minced garlic to this. Not sure if I should add one more bell pepper. Okay, while I'm waiting on that ground beef to defrost for the spaghetti and the enchiladas, I'm gonna get this roast in the Instapot. And that's gonna be for tomorrow afternoon when we get home from church. And I'm gonna just plop it in there frozen. And I'm gonna go outside and get some of my fresh rosemary that I stick in here. When I find roast uh, at a good price, I'll buy a bunch and all of a sudden, I had a lot of roast in my freezer, so I need to start using them up. Oh, here it goes in the Instapot. Let me wash my hands and I'll show you guys the inside. Um, I've got this frozen roast inside this Instapot and I'm gonna mix up um, the seasoning, some water, cream of mushroom soup, fresh rosemary and dump that over this and 
put the lid on and this will be ready to turn on in the morning. Okay, I've got um, beef bouillon, some parsley, two packages of brown gravy mix, and some onion powder, and then some garlic salt. And I'm gonna mix all this up. Rosemary is uh, such an easy plant to grow and it stays green all year. So yeah, look at how beautiful that is. That might be enough. Yeah. Anyhow, I can already smell it. Mixing up um, this roast mixture. Okay, I'm gonna pour this over this. Okay. We've got the rosemary. I'm gonna cover this up and that's ready for in the morning. Yeah. Working on this ground beef. Um, the night I do the fish, I'm gonna prep the fish so it'll be ready to um, just slide in the oven. That day I'll just um, do like some corn and uh, like boiled potatoes for a side. I'm gonna cook up with this spaghetti. Two pounds of noodles and I've got three jars of sauce. I'm gonna dump in some diced tomatoes into the sauce. So, yeah. We'll be eating dinner sometimes and I'll do quick calculations in my head and I'll tell my husband what it would cost if we went to a restaurant and had that same meal with all of our kids and, or versus uh, making it at home. And it is crazy the amount of money you save. It's upwards of 50 to $60 of what you're saving and compared to if you went and ordered that meal at a restaurant. So, yeah. This is like saving my husband money and it's something I can do here at home. You know, even if you work, if you work out and you could still, um, if you've got time in the evening, maybe just take an hour and do some meal prepping or um, maybe even if you just write it down on a piece of paper, that might even help you like, okay, I wrote my thoughts down. I know that I'm going home tonight and I'm making um, such and such. And um, that could still save you money instead of going out. Sometimes you don't have to go big. You don't have to, to meal prep an entire week if you, if you, don't, if you uh, don't have the time. But start out small, write out a list and try to stick to the list. Okay, I gotta stay focused and remember that I'm not just cooking ground beef. I've gotta get my noodles going. So I'm gonna get water going in this pot with a little bit of olive oil, get it ready for those noodles and um, those can cool off and I'll probably toss them with some more oil and then I'll store them in a Ziploc bag. Okay. This video might be a little bit, uh, it's a little bit different than what um, you guys are used to from me. I'm, I'm usually putting out like pretty and decorating, but um, hey, what's a cottage without food, right? And without dinner? It's really a, a huge part of the home is food and meals and cooking. So, mom, move in on the st on the food. Yeah. All right, we've got this water going. Mom, go over the food. Yeah, go ahead and you go do that while I do this. Okay, I usually um, cut out 
my oldest son Levi, his voice in the background, but you guys can hear him and look at the great job he's doing recording for me. He is worth his pay. So thank you Levi from mom for doing this job. And you want to stir this? Here's Anne. Yay. Okay, listen, it's hot. Okay? okay. So stand back. Anne is already learning how to cook from her mother. Okay, Levi, come over here. I'm going to do this jalapeno. Let me think here. I wonder if that's going to be too spicy for the spaghetti. What do you think? sauce it's a little bit thick but it's gonna work okay I have to confess I've backed out of doing um, rice I'm just gonna serve this with tortilla chips and um, yeah that's gonna be dinner if I happen to have a watermelon I could chop that up and serve it too as a side we'll see let me let me get a a taste tester for. I'm gonna try this. Okay. That's got plenty of spice. Okay. Got the sauce ready for enchiladas. Okay, I'm gonna kind of give you a little overview. We've got the water going for the spaghetti noodles. This ground beef is almost done, and that's for the enchiladas and the spaghetti sauce. I've got my cheese out. These tortillas need to be used up. Use up those, or some of them. Anyhow, got the sauce for the enchiladas. And the roast is in the fridge. That's wrapped up. And I remembered I've got to get the chicken going for that, that Mexican chicken dish. So I'm going to put these kind of on like a, with a little bit of water and just kind of get them going, get them defrosting. I have, the noodles are just about, they should be ready to strain. Look at those. And um, let me think. I've separated the meat. You can see, Tim and Levi. You can see I didn't, that, that's what I left in here for the spaghetti. I'm gonna in fact go ahead and Start dumping my sauce in here. I serve my spaghetti uh, noodles first on the plate and then I dump the sauce over. It, to me, it makes it taste better. And then remember, this already has the flavor of bell peppers, onion, and a little bit of jalapeno. We'll see how that goes. And I'm going to add in a can of diced tomatoes. This is not complicated. This is very easy cooking right here. Okay. I'm going to give this a taste test and see how much salt and uh, if I need to add any spices. Okay. 
I'm adding in some pink Himalayan salt. And I'm going to add in a little bit of garlic and then a little bit of oregano. Okay, my husband ended up really liking the spaghetti and he didn't even know there is jalapeno in there. Okay, let's prep these enchiladas. Put a little bit of sauce at the bottom. tortillas that I had bought a while back to go with um, carne asada tacos. So anyhow, I'm going to use those up. This is so simple and very quick, especially once you have your, your meat ready. And I'm just going to do two layers of meat. This will be the first layer. I'll add in some cheese. And then that's not to mention, um, like if there's any leftover, one or two of my kids or myself can have that for lunch on a homeschool day. Okay, let's get some sauce. Again, um, it is fun. It really is fun to get out or to get in your kitchen and do a, a recipe that you're not used to or, um, you know, bake up something fancy. But there's nothing wrong, too, with um, getting in there and getting some simple, some simple meals done for your family to eat around the kitchen table. that pan of enchiladas okay this is ready to slide okay out. I'm kind of going backwards I could have saved time but I need more bell pepper for the polo and suprema and uh, let's see I'm just gonna do two and I'm gonna do both of the red ones some more onion and a little bit of jalapeno run this all through the food processor and that's gonna go in that chicken this is that fish that I'm prepping. I'm doing lime juice and I add garlic, salt, parsley, and lemon pepper. I am actually gonna run this chicken in through this food processor as well. Um, my kids really aren't used to eating big pieces of chicken, so this works better for us. I'm adding in heavy cream to this chicken dish. I cooked the chicken in water, which created a broth. I added cumin and I may have added garlic salt. And of course I did peppers and onion. And then I end up adding in quite a bit of sour cream. 
and I served this um, with grilled tortillas. Sour cream. Okay. Here is the finished product for today. I'm gonna take you guys through this. And of course, I've gotta package it up, but there is the two pounds of pasta and that big batch of spaghetti sauce. And then we've got that chicken dish. And then this is the roast that is not cooked, but it's almost all the way prepped. I still gotta add carrots to that, but that's the roast. We've got our fish prepped in this bag and then the pan of enchiladas. Take a little sneak peek. There we go. Okay, yep, there we go. So I'll count this out for you guys. We've got the spaghetti, that's two mils. The chicken dish, that's two mils. The roast, one. The fish, one. And the enchiladas, one. So, um, yeah, seven dinners or seven mils right here. 